So thank you very much, Ambassador Merrill, for your kind introduction. And Madam Minister Srimulyani, thank you for being here tonight. Uh, it is an honor to welcome you back to Washington and, of course, to spend the evening with such an accomplished leader and, as was said earlier, an Indonesian national treasure. So thank you for being here. Uh, I congratulate the U.S. Indonesia Society for hosting this wonderful gala. I'm pleased to be among so many old friends and new friends that are passionate about the Asia Pacific region uh, and who do so much to expand our mutual understanding and strengthen ties between our two countries. Your presence reflects the deep partnership that we are growing together across so many sectors. Uh, a special welcome goes out to all the former U.S. ambassadors. That was quite a distinguished list of uh, former ambassadors that was read earlier. So it's great to see all of them here. Um, and thank you for your continuing support for deepening the U.S.-Indonesia relationship. Uh, the United States is very proud to share a strategic partnership with Indonesia, a partnership that we launched when President Jokowi visited in 2015. This partnership reflects all that we have in common as the world's second and third largest democracies and as diverse and pluralistic societies. And it may be worth noting here that even just today, uh, Indonesia demonstrated once again its fantastic ability to hold a peaceful and orderly major election in Jakarta. So I think that that's uh, appropriate to mark here tonight. Uh, Indonesia, of course, has undergone a historic transformation into a truly vibrant democracy, and our nations work together to promote rule of law and international norms for the security and sustainable prosperity of our people and the Asia-Pacific region and all around the world. Through these common values and our mutual efforts, and in collaboration with Yusindo and others, we continue to deepen cooperation across a broad range of economic, defense, counterterrorism, and sociocultural interests. While Minister Sri Mulyani is here, she'll have the bilateral discussions with our Treasury Department to enhance collaboration with, in areas like international tax regulation and counterterrorism finance, and of course, uh, see all of the other attendees at the bank fund meetings next week. Uh, at this moment, it is Thursday morning in Jakarta, and as was mentioned, Vice President Pence will soon meet with President Jokowi, as well as with Vice President Kala and Cabinet Ministers in Jakarta. Uh, the Vice President, of course, is on his first visit to the Asia-Pacific region, and his stop in Jakarta signals the administration's commitment to the bilateral relationship and to our strategic partnership with all of ASEAN during this, our 40th year of relations with the collective. Next week, we're going to welcome Coordinating Minister for Maritime Affairs, uh, Lahut, and he will be coming to Washington. And in May, we will also be uh, looking forward to a visit by Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi. So let there be no doubt about the US commitment to the region and to our partnership with Indonesia. It's very exciting to see this level of engagement and exchange of ideas because we know there is really no end to the amount of good we can do together. American companies have long seen the promise in our relationship. Many have a long history of partnering in Indonesia's development in sectors like power, aviation, mining, and energy. But US companies are also looking to the future more than 100 U.S. companies are seeking ways to help Indonesia develop its infrastructure. Technology companies are attracted to Indonesia's growing population and interest in innovation. Whether manufacturing aircraft or the latest smartphone application, apps, they're called according to my kids, um, <laughs> investors will always look for consistent policies, good governance, regulatory certainty, and reduced barriers to trade. So we'll continue to work together to address these challenges and smooth the way for increased trade and investment between us. This will ensure that our economic partnership reflects the size and vibrancy of our markets, benefits both our people, and flourishes. Our economic relationship is just one important part of our strategic partnership. 
Indonesia and the United States are also joined in the common cause against uh, terrorism in the region. Yusindo last year established the Indonesia-US Council on Religion and Pluralism, and the council highlights the important role civil society has in promoting human rights and religious understanding to counter radical ideologies that distort religion to justify violence. Uh, this is very important work, and we're very gratified to see the progress that we're making there. We've also expanded our maritime cooperation in marine conservation and through increased cooperation between the U.S. Coast Guard and the Indonesian Maritime Security Agency. So we applaud Indonesia's leadership as it fights transnational crimes like illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing, which threatens precious resources and maritime commerce. Our people-to-people -people ties are also robust and growing stronger each year. More than 9,000 Indonesian college students are studying here in the United States, while several hundred American students are in Indonesia. Nearly 17,000 Indonesian youth participate in the YSILI, the Young Southeast Asian Leaders Initiative. And these exchanges are essential for harnessing the optimism and curiosity of our young people, especially as they evolve into leaders across government, the private sector, and civil society. We value and need Indonesia's leadership in the region and in the world. There is no shortage of challenges. We view our strategic partnership as a real friendship. We don't always have to agree, but we do expect to speak candidly and to achieve results that benefit our two peoples. US, USINDO is a key partner in building the kind of honest and productive dialogue that pro promotes the understanding that leads to peace, security, and prosperity. So I wanna thank everyone here for your warm welcome and your continuing energy and support for the vital US-Indonesia relationship. So thank you very much for letting me be here with you tonight.